Hello there. I've been busy listening to some Big Finish audiobooks, as I'm quite a fan of their productions. I thought I could make some form of art whilst I review some of them for you. These reviews won't be as long as the televised episodes reviews, as I will not be going into immense detail, but hopefully I will give you some insight if you're interested in listening to them, or if you've already seen them, maybe you could listen to the review to see what other people think of them. I will refer to some details that some people might value as spoilers, so if you literally want to know absolutely nothing, stop listening, stop watching, go listen to it now. First I will be reviewing the first of the main range, uh, or monthly range of Big Finish audios, The Sirens of Time. Basically I'm just going to read off a bunch of notes that I've made about this audio. Uh, starting off, um, I've described this as a well-balanced and well-crafted multi-doctor story. A uh, great first lesson for anyone who really wants to enter the Big Finish audio range. Each part um, of the first three parts, so this is a four part story, is gifted to each of the Doctors, 5, 6 and 7, with them all joining forces during the finale part of the story to figure out and, you know, resolve everything. There are no companions in this story, which um, if they were it probably would have felt uh, too crowded, so that's kind of a silver lining to this. Then again, this is really early in the timeline of Big Finish as a company, so you can't really expect them to have everyone from day one. Uh, my favourite part uh, was the third part, which featured the Sixth Doctor, who was ultimately the best part about this whole audio. He was very um, entertaining out of the three. However, uh, all of them were great together. It was really nice to actually see them you know, come together. I've not seen or listened to a lot of multi-doctor stories from all the, them that are out there, but to hear 5, 6 and 7 was actually really good. They have a, such a great dynamic and make quite the fun team to listen to. Um, there is a significant twist within the whole narrative, which to me is very high, you know, highly clever and works to the advantage of the audio format. So it appears that we are given some well thought out narrative in form of storytelling. I expected uh, a lot more involvement of Gallifrey to me, mainly as if this is a multi-doctor story, naturally Gallifrey is a prominent part of the story half the time. Uh, they are involved in the story, they become part of, a, they are the setting at one point, I think they are part of a, a plot twist or a cliffhanger, but to be honest it didn't feel like it was a really a, about them, it felt like it kind of lacked their involvement, to me it did, to others it may not. Um, yeah. This didn't really impact my impression of the story. Each part seems to build a little scale and gravitas um, on each other. The third part, of course, which I said was my favourite with the sixth Doctor, seemed to be a bit more tense and dramatic than the second with the fifth. And likewise, the fifth, uh, the fifth Doctor's episode part of it being a bit more intriguing than the seventh. The finale part, like sometimes I feel with most Big Finish audios that I've listened to, uh, normally, if they're a four-part story, the finale part often takes time to clear the air, like slows it down a bit, trying to find a level ground rather than making a big dramatic um, sequence out of everything. It feels like they took the time to explain everything, found a more profound ending rather than a thrilling and fast turnaround. This story does involve time travel to a degree. I point that out, of course, the show is obviously about time travel he can doctor can time travel that's obvious but the time travel is a you know prominent part of the story and part of the resolution so it's that type of story timey wimey as they would say the villain is interesting not a high concept nor original but still a worthy and chaotic enemy for the doctor to face uh, the guessing of who the real villain actually is is often switches a little from time to time this did create a little confusion for me when listening but to be honest, it did help to enable a sense of a mystery with him. The story often offers, I'm sorry, offers quite the variety of things, such as uh, a large, you know, selection of cast and characters. Uh, some guest characters mainly. There are a variety of settings, which is really nice to explore. Which is, to be honest, great for anyone who likes a grand adventure. Uh, Taking on the idea this is a bit like an anthology, but not. Each part is slowly, uh, slightly connected within the hints of the overall arc we're seeing, and small things you see will start to add up as you listen throughout. Uh, this story, to be honest, didn't wow me. 
but it just did impress me with how balanced and entertaining it really was. It piqued my interest throughout, which is good. Um, I would averagely score this a 7 out of 10, and would say it's a must for anyone hoping to dive into the Big Finish audios. Uh, this is really a trademark for their style, the conventions they, they bring with them, and their approach to Doctor Who. And just great for anyone who wants to listen to a multi-Doctor story, because you know, who doesn't love one of them? We don't get a lot of them. Uh, if you're interested, this story is available as a download only at a price of 2 dollars on the Big Finish website. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you've, I hope you you might agree with me, maybe if you've listened to this, or hopefully I've piqued your interest enough to go get it yourself. Uh, I will see you another time for another review and another art time lapse. Goodbye.